Hey guys, this is Phil. I'm a top 10 player. I'm a grandmaster at fixed, progressive, and 1v1s. On my channel, I try to show many different game modes and styles. Please subscribe and follow. Today we have a stacked lobby on Arctic and progressive, six players. So I am orange. So right away, um, I see I have a chance of consolidating over here and over here maybe. Let's look at the continents. This Greenland continent is the one people get most of the time. Arctic Circle, no one ever gets. Scandinavia, sometimes Western Russia, sometimes Eastern Russia, sometimes in North America. I don't really see a lot of people getting it, but we'll see. Maybe someone will surprise me today. I'm third to act. I really need a one to take. So if I don't have one, I'll establish another position here and take it. Okay, let's check out who I'm playing. Art of War. 109 and 361. They, and everybody must be in my, um, in my chat here. 1 and 5 play Thrins. Doobie J. 213 and 568, 380 hours played. Then there's me. This is my main account, 309 hours. You know, there's my win and loss record. Pete from the Kill Pete strategy, playing on his top 10 account. Is this your no, this isn't your top 10, this is your main account. Okay. So I need a one to take. It's gonna be right here. Okay. I'm just getting out of this hotbed that I don't really have a claim to of Greenland. We have Quinn Tiara. And Quinn just played an excellent fixed game with us, so it was awesome. Is this a fixed game? No, this is a progressive game. And then RJ2. Check out RJ2. 204 and 75. DBJ, do you stream? I don't think I'm ever on when you're streaming, but I, I feel like you do. I want to know because I want to give you a shout out. So I'm going to give RJ and Pete. A shout out in my description. This is Prague, not fixed. This is Prague. That's right. Okay. That must be what I'm thinking. I don't know if I... I thought I heard you mention it or something. Oh, that's the only person I haven't made an alliance with, I think. I like to give people hearts. Just feels more friendly. Pete doesn't want to be my friend. I didn't mess with you last game. I killed you. But that was because you got into a war with Doobie J. It'd be nice to connect this six and this two at some point in time. So I think RJ's gonna want this bonus eventually. I'm the weakest player, but it's not. In fix, it's really, really bad to be the weakest player because um, people will team up on you and kill you. But it's not beneficial and progressive to necessarily team up and kill somebody because then somebody gets their cards, and, and cards are like the most valuable thing in progressive. Um, you know, board board positioning, of course, is valuable too, and having a high troop count, etc. But what I don't foresee is people like taking out big stacks of mine in an all Grandmaster game because that just feeds the kill to somebody else. So um, I would be a little more worried if this was a fixed game. Being the short stack at this point, only attacking a one so far, I'd be like, man, life has not gone my way, you know, boo-hoo. But um, 
in this scenario, it's not as big of a deal. Okay. So I'm trying to conserve everything. Right now. So I'm just making my small stacks into medium stacks and I'm combining them into slightly larger stacks. Orange Nightball, what's up? We are just playing some uh, Grandmaster games. Art of War is a great name. I'm not sure what rank Art of War is. Is that you, Tex Imperialist? Are you Art of War? But it truly is a great name. Okay, so that... I will tell you not that it's okay to roll 3v1s. Um, but I think in this instance, you, they could have added one and been able to fortify over. And they definitely want this continent. That's what they're going for. Um, so maybe I get a take out of my 4 because eventually I think with this aggressive play towards the continent, my 4 might be gone. So that might be my next move, is to bolster my other positions and get a take out of that four. Though I could wait a turn. But I shouldn't wait two turns. Because they could have cards. Don't know. Yeah, playing some viewer games, man. I played one... Prague game for my novice to grandmaster series, and then um, now I'm just playing some viewer games. We played a six player fix that nuclear one um, beat me in the end game, and now we're playing progressive. Having a good night. All right, let's see. I might play one more after this, I think. Okay, I connect. What are you trying to get, this one? Which one? You gotta decide which one you're trying to get. So next turn I'd spin out this four if it doesn't have a way out. This four. And Jakota. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna let let them hold it. So I could keep that position maybe. With Pete moving in, I think I can keep that position now. I'm doing alright. I'm not the short stack anymore. I'm actually tied for third. Oh! <laughs> That's a statement. Okay, I'll spin out my four. Yeah, so if you're going to lose four anyway, you might as well get a card out of it. Or you make it hard for that person. You're kind of weighing it. You know, make it a little bit harder for them to take the continent, or get a card out of it. I usually default to getting a card out of it, um, because I feel like looking out for your own game, you don't know what else is going to happen in the future. So I do feel like looking out for your own game a lot of times is, is the best course of action. I really want to keep that spot because it's awesome. It's just tucked up nice in a corner.
You were hoping that Pete would be greedy and take a shit ton of continents as Orange Nightball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think they were telling you, like, don't. I'm. <laughs> Pizzeria simulator. Yeah, so Pete, I think they're like sending you a message like I'm clearly going for this continent. Don't mess with me. My turn. And that's why I'm making this move, because they're very aggressively going for this continent. And I think that those troops are gone anyway. Pizza simulator? That sounds crazy. Today, I taught my nine and a half year old how to play classic manual 1v1 um, with fog and blizzards. He did all right. I mean, he's never beat me in a 1v1 yet, but he um, he's doing all right. It'll be interesting to see if he... Um, I didn't expect that move. I expect him to leave some over there so they can take my three. So now I don't know if I can keep that position or not. It might be worth one. It might be worth one troop to see. But he was like, you know, he's basically like, Dad, how do I become a grandmaster too? And I was like, well, considering you don't have premium, this is probably the easiest thing to learn. And capital is just a little bit harder. So. Yeah, it's pretty cool when they want to like do what you want to do as well. The only thing I'm really checking for at this point is if I have a wild card. Um. Because I'm not trading yet. And then at this point you also kind of look at like who's close to you. That you can kill and that can kill you. So like if you start with like. Uh, dark blue. I would have to really like come through to kill them. They're kind of a hard kill. I thought it was worth one to see if they wouldn't take that continent. Oh, my dog might wake up. If he does, he'll just sit on my lap. He'll give me advice like Pete's cat gives him advice. <coughs> Some iced coffee at 11.42 p.m. I hear it's a good idea. Without premium or any map packs, I'd probably just play like one or two World Dawn Prog 1v1 Classic per day. And get GM in like three to four weeks. Pete, you said you were going to bed soon when I was playing that progressive game before I even had a viewer game. Um, he only plays every every few weeks. Maybe he'll play a few games and he plays with me, or he's played a few online. I think he got to beginner pretty quick, and then I don't know if he's played since then. But then he plays um. against the computers more often. Um, I, the concept of how to take over a map when there's six players 
so he still will lose that sometimes or um he definitely doesn't know how to like um use diplomacy or anything like that so he hasn't played any of those online he's played with my wife and i in three player games but i think he will because um he's very smart definitely uh smarter than smarter than i ever was that's for sure yes This is a good one because I can go right back to where I was and be in the same position. So I really like that one. I think Champion Upload doing some 1v1s and getting around 30 games. Yeah, so Champion Ever's recent Novice to GM videos in the last like four or five months have been where he plays his rank or higher and then he makes it very fast yeah I did that once it took me six hours I don't remember how many games but I played my rank or higher um, and I remember just sitting there forever while I was watching TV waiting for a game to load when I was at master expert and master it was like oh are you kidding um, and then I would switch switch up maps because sometimes you just sit there and sit there and no one wanted to join your lobby and then you'd switch maps and then someone would join yeah but I haven't done a speed run in a long time I mean that's that was a long time ago It was a 34, so it, it was around, it was like a, a year ago, probably. Are they botting out? Are they botting out? No, what happened there? Oh, they're going to hit Pete 6. It's always good when someone bots out and hits somebody else, not you. It looks like I'm hunting RJ, but RJ is not the person to hunt because of the, the big trade. How many troops that RJ has. Um... Yeah, Pete can move away. Pete can add to this 6 and go to this 1. That's probably the move that people make. Everybody has so many troops. Whoa. So what does that mean? That means Doobie J gets the kill. Unless there's cards. Art of War. Oh, God, it has cards. What do you do here? I think you take one card and sit. I thought it would have had a positive roll. Oops, you were close. Um, and then your 10 would have come down to get the 4. It was a risky kill. Sometimes you gotta take risk to beat people, to beat other grandmasters and progressive. Um, I would be really mad if you did that to me, though. The three between the two sixes.
I'm looking to be able to kill two people. I'm in a good spot. I just need to really think about it. Okay. Oh. That changes things now, doesn't it? I'm in a good spot. Doobie's in a good spot too. Doobie could trade and win the game. I think Pete's plan is Pete doesn't get another turn. I think that's what Pete's plan is. Oh, yeah, that... I need to act fast. Do I have enough? I don't have enough. I don't have enough to come through here. Ah. Uh. I don't have quite enough. I could have. I could. I could have been less 100% and possibly gotten RJ. This bot is insane. No, I have a different plan. Become greedy. 
No, I think his plan was to die. What's ours against you? Take out white. I mean, he's got it too. What are trades worth? 45. <coughs> I think he wins this game. Even after the failed kill. I don't think he can get me all in one turn. But he'll get five, which will give him six. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe he can get me all in this turn. He has a hundred. He might clear the whole board this turn. Gosh darn it. GG's. 121. Pumps them all into me. We will see. We will see. Help me out, help me out. Don't break me. Gosh, broke both of my bonuses. I have a ton of territories though. If RJ has cards, RJ wins. If I if RJ does not have cards, I think I can win. I think I have a shot. It's seven. It's gonna be close. No, I need really good rolls, not terrible rolls, really good rolls. The rolls are not going my way. I think he wins. Because the chances that he doesn't have cards. The only thing that would make me win is if he, if the bot hits his nine. And that's not happening. Shoot. I think he wins. He, the chances are he has cards. 
If he doesn't have cards, I can st I win. I think. Come on, can I get him? Only nine troops. Only nine troops. Let's go, big roll. No. Five E nine. No, it's not going my way, guys. Might as well. Where's a deep dark corner? Come on, bot, kill RJ. Come on, bot, kill RJ. It just wants to kill RJ so bad. Come on. I don't have cards either. So this game is over. Man, this was a close one, though. Unless it happens to just keep traveling over to that six. No. No. Good game, man. Good game. Nine troops. Yeah, I don't have cards too, so RJ wins this. Like, even if he messes up this turn. He's got two turns to kill me. There you have it. There you have it. He should clean up the bot pretty quickly. Bot only has one card, so he has a couple of turns to do it. Is he not even killing the bot? There we go. He's so fast he can do this. I thought he was going to go the other way. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, DBJ. Do you guys want to play one more after this? Yeah, good game, man. That was close. Good calculations on in the end there. Alright, thanks. Subscribe and follow.